Hello and welcome to this quick start introductory session on working with manufacturing data from multiple applications into Omniverse. In this case, we're going to work with a couple of sample files that are provided. If you have access to the sample files and you have access to Fusion, I'm currently running the bike frame components file for Fusion um, in here. All we're going to be doing is looking at how we export this data. If you don't have access to this file, you can use the USD file that I've exported and provided as well. Similarly, we're going to jump over to Rhino where we have some data in here for this bike assembly. In this case, we have the chains and derailleurs and some gears. And that is the Rhino chain derailleurs file that's um, available in the sample files for Rhino. Again, if you don't have access to Rhino, the exported version of the file is there and you can work with that in Omniverse. Um, lastly, I wanna point out the third piece of the puzzle here. I'm running Omniverse. This is simply Omniverse create. Um, doesn't matter what version you're running, run the latest version at the time of uh, when you're working with that. And I've simply launched this up. There's nothing special going on in here. This is just a default empty scene. So let's go back to Fusion. And we're going to take our Fusion data and look at how we can bring this over to Omniverse. So I'm going to go underneath File, and I'm going go to go to the Export functionality here. Down on the bottom of the pull down is uh, a nice little uh, functionality here added by the Autodesk team, the Autodesk Fusion team. It supports the export of USD files. USD is universal scene description, and this is at the core of how we work in Omniverse Create with our 3D data. So I'm going to leave the file name as is, and I'm going to define where I want to download that. Now I've built a working directory here that I've simply called this, and there's a sample file directory, and I'm going to create another simple little demo directory here. I'm going to call working files, and I'm going to place my USD export in there. So now I'll just simply click export. This will just take a moment to come out of Fusion. And once we have it exported, we'll get a notification that it is ready to work with uh, here. So let's jump over to Omniverse. And we can see we want to make sure that we're in that directory. I happen to be here. We just dial down to where that lives. There's my working files directory. I'm going to jump in there. And now we can see that we have the USD file. Now I can double click this to launch this or I can add it to the scene. In this case, I wanna left click and drag it right into the viewport, and I'm just gonna put it right at the origin. It's gonna snap there for me, and I'm gonna let it go. I'm gonna hit F to frame everything, and just Alt, left mouse click, turn around here. If I hit Escape, everything's quite dark. I can't see a lot. So while we're working with this, what I like to do is simply go to the top right here, Stage Lights, and turn this to Gray Studio. We'll change this in a little bit, but for now, we have something that is usable to work with. Let's jump over to Rhino. In Rhino, we don't have the native ability to export directly out of Rhino to USD file format. So this is where we want to go to the Omniverse launcher. So in the launcher here, we have this tab, Exchange, and we have all of these different connectors available in here. So at any time, we can go in and access all sorts of different applications. I'm going to go to the connector area specifically, and you can see we have all different kinds of connectors in here. Any of them that we have the software installed for, we'll get a green button. We can simply just click install and it will take care of everything for you. It's that easy. It will install the, uh, the Omniverse connector for you. Let's go back to connectors. And in this case, because we're working with Rhino, we have a Rhino connector and this works excellent with Omniverse. So you can see it's grayed out. I already have it installed. All I literally did was click the green install button and this is what we get if we go back to Rhino. Um, I'm just going to pull this right out of here so we can see what it looks like. It comes in as a little floating bar like this, and it has our little tool set uh, that we would be able to use to export our data. I'm going to dock this back up here just so that it's out of the way. And what we want to do is bring this data over in Omniverse. Well, how do we do that? We're just going to go into the export, the up arrow, where we can publish this current model as a prop in Omniverse. I'm going to click that arrow. And that's going to bring us to a screen to give us some options. I want to make sure that I'm in my, my proper working file directory, and I am. And now I'm going to give it a name. We can see that the save file format is .usd. That's great. I'm going to give this file name chain derail. And I'm just going to hit export. And we can see that it's publishing. It's going to take a few seconds. There, it's out. Now we'll go over to Omniverse, and we can see that we have it in here. We're going to do something different this time. In order to add this to the scene properly, we want to make sure that we add this as what we call a sublayer. 
So at the top um, right, we can see that we have our stage directory, which works much like an outliner. And then beside that, we have a layer tab. And in here is where we're going to create a sublayer. And you'll see why this is really important. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is right click on chain derail.usd. And we're going to insert as sublayer. And just like that, all of the data has come in and is now lined up. We now have Rhino data from the, the chain set data that we we're working with in Rhino. And we now have the data that we were working with the frame and the crank set here from Fusion. And there's something important to note as to what's going on behind the scenes here. We have the data in Fusion. And if you look here, I'm just going to get rid of that little uh, panel. We have a Y up environment that we're working in here. So we're working in a Y axis environment over here in Fusion. We're also working with a Y axis environment over here in Omniverse. However, over in Rhino, we're working in a Z up or Z up, depending on where you are on the globe. And we can see that um, that data is sitting in that uh, access or that orientation. When I created a sublayer in an existing scene and I added this uh, data to that sublayer to, to create a sublayer there, it will automatically merge to that scene or work with the orientation of that scene. So that's how everything is fitting together nicely here. So just a quick overview as to what we covered. We did cover quite a bit in this short video, but we looked at how we can import data from Autodesk Fusion, how we can import data from Rhino using the Omniverse connector, and we looked at how we can work with that data from two different orientations from two different packages and very quickly bring them into Omniverse. Yeah, up next in our video, the next video series here, we're going to take a look at how we can pretty up our scene and make our scene beautiful and set for a nice visualization.